We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Jamie, this is Ben, and this is Fridge Can. And today we're going to make chocolate mousse until it's coming out of our ears. Mm. What happens? In front of us, we have three delicious chocolate mousses. Each one of them increases in effort, but does it increase in taste? Oh, I like that. What I don't like is the way you pluralised mousse. Isn't it oh, meese? It was do. It's meese. We're going to show you how to make each and every one of them. We're going to compare them at the end. But first, Barry, which one did you make? Um, instant chocolate mousse. And yes, this really is instant chocolate mousse. All you need, five ingredients, five minutes, and you've got chocolate mousse you can instantly stick in your mouth. And this is all I'm going to need. Some dark chocolate, some maple syrup, vanilla extract, double cream, and two biscuits from your Nan's cookie jar. And all three of the mousses are using this. First up, melt some dark chocolate. Ask a friend to microwave it for you. While that's microwaving, in with some double cream, and you want to whip this till soft peach. You're looking for Mr. Whippy Peach. Chocolate only needs about 30 seconds, and then you just let it cook in the residual heat and give it a stir so it all melts. This is all about timing. You can't add the chocolate if it's too hot. So let it cool down slightly, and add to your mixture, and then finish off. Take a break from your whisking and add these two in. Maple syrup, some very good looking vanilla extract. Add your chocolate while we're whisking. Wow! I think it's key to point out that your chocolate is quite hot and your cream is quite cold, so when the two go together, they're going to thick up almost instantly. So keep whisking until it all comes together, it's all one consistent colour. Then, you want to get that into a piping bag so you can make it look all elegant. Pick the fanciest glass you can find, and then it's all about confidence. Yeah, that's right, happy with that. And then just garnish with some shortbread. you see? Are we claiming five minutes as instant now? It's just, I think, <laughs> no. trading standards would probably have something to say about <laughs> that. That looks great, Baz, but why don't we go down the more traditional route? Something off my own heart. Sure, you can make a version of a chocolate mousse in just five minutes, but wouldn't you like to go for the real thing? Something slightly more traditional? Well, this is my classic chocolate mousse, and I'm gonna be using double cream, vanilla extract, and sugar. Dark chocolate, some eggs, but only the white bits, and a scatter of shortbread biscuits for fun. And to make my mousse all airy, I'll be using this. Hand mixer. First up, I need to heat up my double cream to a simmer in this pan right here. Once it's simmering, I'll add in some sugar and some vanilla extract. And in the meantime, I'm gonna chop up some chocolate. Having added in the vanilla and the sugar, take the pan off the heat, then add in the chocolate, leave it for a couple of minutes for the chocolate to melt a little bit, give it a big stir up, transfer it into a bowl, and leave it for a couple of hours in the fridge to set up. Now, whether you choose to believe that we actually waited for two hours or had one that we made earlier, it doesn't matter. This is what it will look like, nice and set up after a couple of hours in the fridge. Next up, the only real effort required in this recipe is to whisk up two egg whites, and then whisk up my cream so it gets all nice and airy. At first, it might feel a bit too stiff to whip, but once you get into it, it's great. And it's definitely why having a machine makes it easier. Both bowls whipped up. The last thing to do is to carefully fold the egg whites into the chocolate mixture until it's all nicely combined. And then spoon it into the, well, the fanciest little glasses that you've got. And when you serve it, make it as fancy looking as you like. Maybe, I don't know, scatter some crumbled shortbread biscuits over the top of the mousse and the, of, of a board, because that's what people do now, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> See, I like that you've gone from fancy glass to fancy little glass jar. 
I've just put it on a plate. The internet loves a mirror glaze and so do we, so why don't we do a mirror glazed coated chocolate mousse dome. We're gonna need dark chocolate, double cream and gelatin. And then for the glaze itself, condensed milk, vanilla, cocoa powder, more chocolate, more gelatin, and we're also gonna garnish with shortbread. And again, a mixer for the mousse plus a wand to create a smooth bubble-free glaze. For the chocolate mousse dome, two different quantities of double cream. You can get the weights and measures down below. The large amount, we're gonna heat up in a saucepan until it is just simmering. The small amount, we're gonna whip up to soft peaks in a bowl. We're also gonna take about a teaspoon of powdered gelatin and just bloom it with a splash of water. Bloom it, technical turn, make it wet. You can also just quickly chop up some chocolate while you're waiting. Like with all three of these chocolate mousse, we're not adding extra flavours. We're not adding any boozy flavours or any orange or any mint. This is just classic chocolate. So make sure the chocolate you use is dark chocolate and is a good quality. At the point where your cream is just about coming to the boil, you're going to add in your bloom gelatin. Give it a stir so that all of that dissolves and then pour it over your chopped chocolate. Give it a moment or so to melt the chocolate and then stir it until you have one beautiful glossy chocolate mix. And then let it come to room temperature before folding in your whipped cream. And this is where chocolate mousse starts to get fancy. We're now gonna place that chocolate and whipped cream mixture into silicon molds. These are domes, hemispheres on a tray and then we can freeze them up. This mixture makes about 12. For our mirror glaze, two things need to happen. The sugar, the condensed milk, and 200 ml of water go into a pan and come up to a boil. We're also gonna take the 10 grams of gelatin and bloom that in a bit of water. Unless you're using quality dark chocolate chips, then you'll wanna cut your chocolate squares into slightly smaller chunks, just like you did before. With the sugar mix bubbling, we're now gonna add in vanilla, cocoa powder, and your bloomed gelatin. Give it a good mix, and then you're gonna pour that over your chopped chocolate, which we put into the beaker of the tri-blade, because when it's in there, give it 30 seconds or so, and then we're gonna blend it up until it is super smooth. And the reason for that is it makes it really smooth, gets rid of any lumps of gelatin or cocoa powder, but by doing it in the beaker with the wand attachment, it doesn't aerate it too much. At this point, pass it through a sieve into a bowl and then you want to let it cool to about 32 degrees Celsius. You want it at a temperature where it's just gonna set the moment it goes over those frozen mousse stones. After about four hours, your chocolate mousse are completely frozen. You can peel them off, place them on top of a wire rack over a tray. And this is the bit that's good fun. Once your mixture is at 32 degrees, you want to spoon it over your frozen mousse and they should just run and just set pretty much at the same time. Into the fridge to set up again, and then we're going to serve it on top of a bed of crushed shortbread biscuits. Ooh. Ooh. Well, double layer. We can talk about them as much as we want. We can ooh or ah, but let's just eat them. Should we start with this one? Then we don't even have to portion these, we've got one each, but I'd, I'd say no, pace I'm not yourself. Eat. I'd say pace yourself. I can't yourself. eat all of these. <laughs> Disappears. That just is it. That does it? It's everywhere. That can't contain any calories whatsoever because you put it in your mouth and it just goes. It's mostly yeah. air. It's a bit of air. I've got to say it again. Five minutes. Five ingredients. Five minutes. Not quite instant, but five minutes. Mm. Five ingredients and elegant. I think it just looks the part and it tastes incredible. I'm not sure how classic a chocolate mousse is. No, it's care. a really light, airy, whipped chocolate cream. But my goodness, is it good? All right, mate. Okay, now. Right. right up front, this looks like a commitment. What? It looks <laughs> dense. But if you cut into it, I think you should get what I associate more as a chocolate mousse and that kind of bubbliness throughout. Cheers. 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 Oh! Oh. Mm. Isn't that just pure indulgence? I would say if you're going to make this, find the smallest jam jar or kilner jars you can. It's super rich, but oh. wow, is that good. I've committed to my chocolate mousse. Yep. I'm in there and I'm loving it. Yep. Whereas your one is light and airy and full of bubbles, this is thick and rich and massively indulgent. Well, well wow. I'm full. Oh my God. So let's go over. Let's just decide between <laughs> these two. 
This one, if we've got it right, should still be chilled in the middle, but it should no longer be frozen. We'll see. <laughs> oh, wow. Unlike the first two, gelatin set. Cheers. Toughest job in the world, this. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's not a chocolate mousse. That's like a chocolate velvet. That's, it's, it's, it's so creamy. It doesn't feel, air, it doesn't feel airy. It just feels like a constant, ongoing slab of silky chocolate. Mm. You're not wrong in the sense that I think a classic chocolate mousse like yours has the egg white folded into it. And even though that is a very thick one, compared to that light one, at least it has the egg in it, where neither of these two have the egg. This is more of a gelatin set chocolate mm. mousse. Now, I'm in a slight conundrum here. Because I actually think the only mousse on the table Technically, it's that one. And yet, if you think about chocolate mousse as a light, airy, chocolate, indulgent, rich thing, then I absolutely love the simplicity of that five ingredient. If you're looking to really impress someone or a number of people, and I think it's got to be a number of people, because it's almost impossible to make that for one or two. So go for the chefy one with the mirror glaze, because people will think, wow. Stick a bit of booze in that one, then it's proper grown up. The only problem with this one, is if you make it ahead of time, how do you stop yourself from going in and having a little nibble? There is always that. The question is, would you go martini glass, jam jar or on a plate? You decide by commenting down below and tell us what you think. Right, well I think the biggest question from that was moose, meese or mooses? What's the plural? Moose eye. Comment down below and let us know. What is the plural of chocolate mousse? And then join <laughs> us every Wednesday, every Sunday for more of this gold. Bye bye. M -m Moosey. Mm. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. Mooses or meeses? What's the plural of moose? Mice. M no.